Hi, this is Ariel. Welcome to my getting started video. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a turtle as well as move it around and change it within its world. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a world, give it a simple name, W, and tell the computer that this is our new world. And starting with the parentheses, I can actually enter parameters for this world. In my case, I want it to be 600 by 600. Close the parentheses, and then finish the statement, as well as all my other statements, with a semicolon. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a turtle. And what I've done is created a class, um, which is just a category of objects that have defining features and actions. And all of its features and actions are part of a API or an application programming interface. And this interface um, contains all sorts of commands that are unique to our Java turtles that will help us move and change them within their world. But in order to access them, we first have to name our turtle here. So I'm going to name mine Stumpy. And he's going to be a new turtle. And I'm going to put him in world W. So there he is, and now that we finally have him in the world, we can do all sorts of things with him. And one way you can find out what you can do with him is to go to Open, Simple Turtle, and this document will show you all sorts of things that you can do with the turtle. So you can move him forwards, backwards, change the XY coordinates, change his color, all sorts of stuff. But for now, since this is just a beginning video, um, we're going to do a very simple method where he's just going to draw a square. So in order to write this, um, I opened it up with public, which indicates that what I've written right here can be accessed by any other turtle that I put in this world. Um, and then I've put void to indicate that we're not really getting any values out of this action, we're just telling a turtle where to go. And then after that is just the name of my method, which I have as draw square, so next is circle. Um, and since this is a simpler method, I just have the parentheses empty right now, so that all of this right here is going to be the default for our square. So using the syntax of our API, I've written forward, so that our turtle can go forward. And within these parentheses here, I can write how forward I want him to go. So I wanted him to go 50. And next I wanted him to turn since all the turtles start facing north and will continue to do so until you tell them otherwise. So again, using the simple syntax, turn, using the parentheses for our parameters, and in this case, I have him going positive 90 degrees because I wanted him to go ca uh, sorry clockwise. And if I wanted him to go counterclockwise, I would just put negative 90. And closing with the semicolon there. Um, luckily, this is a very simple shape, so I was able to just repeat all these commands right here until he completed his square. So now what I'm going to do is go into the interactions pane use the name of this method here, and first I need to specify which turtle I want to perform this method. So Stumpy is going to draw square using just the default parameters. And there it is. Um, next week we'll be able to go more into what we can do with the parameters um, where we can have this turtle starting and all sorts of other fancy stuff. But for now, that's it.